place at Mesa College. Both squads featuring players that are going to be playing for Rocky Long, Cameron Thomas, and J.R. Justice. We pick this one up. Carlsbad takes the opening kickoff. This is DeAndre Dan or this is the Saints. DeAndre Daniels returning the opening kickoff, 99 yards for the score. Makes it 7-0 Saints, and their offense is yet to take the field. Later in the first quarter, St. Augustine's Daniels with the four-yard pitch. He'll find Pater. It looks to be St. Augustine's night. Especially uh, watch here as they're punting the ball. Joel Lozaro uh, with, will return it 40 yards down inside the 10. A little while later, Menker with the two-yard touchdown run cuts the Saints' lead to 14-6. Did I mention Bloomquist is off to a good fantasy league start? Here's touchdown pass number seven on the year. We're tied at 14 late in the second half. And then the play of the game. Saints in the shadow of their own end zone. They're at goal post. That's the safety. Lancers Cole James gives the Carlsbad a 16-14 lead going into halftime. Then Ryan Thomas is back to pass. But watch as Carlsbad's Jacob Turner comes up with a pick. A little while later, though, it's Tyler Francis with a 42-yard field goal. Carlsbad is up 22 to 14. And then check this out. Lancer defense coming up, or that's uh, the Saints defense coming up big. Or actually, it, it both, <laughs> it's a Lancer fumble recovery by Davis Hancock. And the Lancer defense does the job holding off St. Augustine. The final score in the PPR game of the week, 22 to 14. And I am now joined by the Jack in the Box player of the game, Carlsbad's Joel Lazaro. Joel, can you hear me? Oh, yes, sir, I can. All right, well, I'll speak loudly. 161 yards rushing on 31 carries. Did you think you were going to have this kind of night against St. Augustine? Um, no, sir, I did not, but I had trust in my linemen and my coaches, and I thank God for giving us the power and thanks to the people that doubted us, that just gave us more confidence, just gave us more confidence to power like through St. Augustine. In a game like this, can you talk about how important special teams are? Because they could decide the game. That punt return of yours was a big part of the, uh, the reason why you came back and won the game. Uh, yes, sir, it was a big part. It was, uh, we were struggling, so I saw the ball. I saw that guy coming. Um, I had to do something. I had to, I had to pump up our guys, give them confidence, and tell them that we're not going to get punched in the mouth right now. We're just going to go back and punch them back in the mouth. And they, they were on the heels. And lastly, before we let you go, how important is it to get a big win like this so early in the year? I'm sorry, say that again? <laughs> how important is it to get a big win like this so early in the season? Oh, this is, this is a big momentum. Uh, I'm so, uh, you don't know how happy I am. Like, just me and my boys, my coaches, uh, it's, it's a really big win. It's been eight years since the last time we've been uh, beat St. Augustine. So it's a really big win. Give us a big confidence, and we're going to go throughout the season without nobody talking. All right. Well, congratulations, young man. Get home safely. Give uh, Coach Thad McNeil a, a hi, how do you do from us, because that's a big win. And, uh, uh, I know how badly he uh, wanted it. So congratulations. Get home safe. Thank you, sir. All right. Normally, Allie Wagner.